All right, so why do they need to buy or sell now? You got to know the answer to this question. Our number one goal right now is finding people who have to buy. Finding people who have to buy, right? Who are those people? Type in the chat if you know some of them. People getting divorced, the 61 percenters, right? People going through probate. People inherited homes. People that you haven't shown about uh, the millennials on how this new program that Joe Biden put out about the Save Loan Program, which basically reduces their student loan payment to almost nothing. Unbelievable, right? And now a whole group of people, millennials, are getting ready to be buying houses because of the student loan program that was a um, repayment program that's allowing them to buy homes and have their payments down to basically nothing, guys. It's unbelievable. So you need to get up to speed on the SAVE, S-A-V-E, Student Loan Repayment Program. You should be talking about it on the internet, on social media. You should be targeting it through millennials like I'm doing. I'm creating videos right now, right? Creating the 30-second videos about the SAVE Student Loan forget not Forgiveness Program, but Repayment Program, right? Because they want to know about this, all right? And then how can you attract them? Remember, there's the four M's in marketing. Message, what's your message? Who's your market? What median are you using? Which means, is it, are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they on TikTok? Where are they? Go to where they are, and then you map them. Message to market to median match. You got to have the four M's in your marketing program. What's your message? Is it what they want? Is it solving their problem? What's your market? Whatever that is, your ideal client. What median are they listening to? Are they listening to podcasts? Are they listening to Instagram, TikTok? I don't know. You know who your target market is. I hope you do. 50% of you guys said you do. And then, then you have a straight, a good dating match right there. All right. So that's how you can attract them. So what, what do we sell? We sell what my recession-proof income avatar is buying. We don't sell what we want to sell. We got to constantly be knowing what people are buying that are in a recession-proof business recession proof business guys recession proof income we are no longer targeting the general masses of whatever you got to niche your market down to wherever you guys are in the country and find that person that's in a recession proof business if you don't know what the recession proof business is in your area then you could just go to chat gpt which i'm going to show you in a second right and it'll tell you what the recession proof businesses are in your area and pick one or two max and start to target those people, right? On the right medium, right social media platform or wherever they may be. Maybe you go into your local hospital and, and say, hey, listen, I'd like to do a 15-minute home buyer seminar for all the nurses here on their lunch break. And you set up in the break room and you do a 15-minute home buyer seminar about one thing right? Because nurses are getting paid. They're a six, that's a six-figure job now. I do their loans, their guaranteed home loans. Traveling nurses make $150,000 to over $250,000 a year, y'all, working not a lot of hours. And even nurses that are not traveling are making $80,000 plus, just so you know. That's why I market to them, right? So sell you sell what your recession-proof income avatar is buying. It's no longer just selling to uh, people where you live like no you got to know who's buying and who can afford to buy right because a police officer making forty eight thousand dollars a year in metro atlanta i thank you for your service but the average price point in metro atlanta is three hundred and twenty five thousand. you can't afford it if you're single now if you have a spouse significant other and you guys make x amount of dollars which i'm going to show you how to calculate that today then you are my client right so you got to know exactly who your ideal client is and how much money they make. And so you'll be able to help them. So we sell what our recession-proof income avatar. We need a t-shirt that says recession-proof income avatar. Like we need, we only market to people in recession-proof industries. Only, only, right? Because right now in this, in this marketplace, me as a CEO of, of a company and a team leader of a real estate team, I'm saying, where can I get the biggest return on my marketing dollars? I don't want to just market to a whole group of people. I want to have it so niched down that when I know that person responds to an advertisement, they can afford 
the average uh, purchase price in the markets that we market in. Make sense? Type in the chat. Yeah, makes sense, AT. I'm still awake. My heart is beating fast. Right? You guys all right? Awesome. All right, so what's the average purchase price, purchase price in your market? Hey, guys, you got to know this stuff. It's, it's not rocket science. You can go to FMLS or MLS, and you can put in the county, the city, or something, whatever you want. You can just click uh, sold homes, and then it'll give you an average of what the average selling price is. Or you could go to chat GPT. Right, you could go to Chat GPT, and I'll, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of those for you today. All right, so know what the average purchase price is in your market. Now, remember, 80% of buyers, I just tell you, Metro Atlanta, are buying under four hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars in Metro Atlanta. Eighty percent. So I market to the eighty percent. Right. Um, would I love to get the luxury homes? And yeah, do we get some of those? Yeah, we do. Right, but we don't market to them. Because 80% of the people are buying under 499000 That's just what the numbers are here in Metro Atlanta. California is different, right? Uh, $1.25 million is the average purchase price in Irvine where we market. So it just depends on the market. So you got to know what the average purchase price is in your marketplace. So you can find out what the average purchase price is in your market, right? Which is what you definitely would have to know. And then this is the biggest thing you got to know because this is going to help you. I pinned this in the EXP Realty channel. And so if you guys take out your phone and take and pick up this QR code, what you could do is you could just run mortgage payments, right? You can run mortgage payments on our website. It's very accurate on um, Guaranteed Home Loans website. And this will take you straight to the calculator, right? And so I'll pull up the calculator for you guys. Go ahead and scan this so you have it as well. But of course, just go to letscloseFast.com, right? Put in, I put in some stuff earlier. $300,000 loan. We know FHA loan is 3.5% down, right? Um, interest rate, let's just say it's right now, it's around 7.5, right? Uh, they have PMI. This is a good number for you guys to remember, 0.50 if you're on our website. It, a lot has changed. They're trying to make it more and more affordable for people to purchase homes. So... Um, Department of HUD, Fannie, Freddie have lowered the PMI to 0.5, right? Taxes are about 1% in Metro Atlanta of the purchase price. So I chose percentages. And then this is a pretty actual 0.75% actual, uh, for homeowners insurance. So you might want to write those down. Okay. And so what it does is it gives us what the mortgage payment is. So you can run payments all day long because some of you guys are calling loan officers Saying, hey, Dan, what's the payment on this? What's the payment on that? What's, I mean, you can figure out your own payments, right? You don't need to call a loan officer to be able to figure out payments. You could just go to our calculator. Um, you could go to our website, letscloseFast.com. Go over here on loan options right here. Underneath is this calculator right here, okay? And you'll have all the information you need. This is very important for you to know because we're getting ready to go to the next step. Now, I know when I start to talk about math with real estate agents, you guys start to get really freaked out. Like, like just go ahead and just take a shot of coffee right now. Like, you don't have to get freaked out, okay? These numbers are going to be calculated automatically. The only numbers I want you to remember are, write this down, a VA loan is no money down, right? FHA is 3.5. And that'll cover most loans and most of you guys' marketplaces, just so you know. Of course, yeah, we have some 0% down loans. Yes, we got 3% down loan. Yes, but this, this is going to cover most of the loans that you guys are going to do under $500,000, okay? If it's above, uh, you know, 500, just go ahead and make this 5%, okay? That's what you want to do. All right, and then the interest rate, I mean, it fluctuates. We just use 7.5, right? And then these are the three numbers I want you to make sure you have. PMI, 0.5, that's a percent. These are all percent, 1%, 0 0.75, okay? So 2582 on a $300,000 home, okay? A few months back, a $300,000 home was $2,000 a month. That was $1,800, $1,900, $2,000 a month. So you can see how things have changed, all right? So make sure that you go to our website and you send other clients to our website and just have them run payments on their own because that you guys are out shopping for homes. And if I was a real estate agent shopping for home, I would have this app up on my phone.